Hello everyone out there in the live world. This is Dr. Warfield here. I am stumbled upon Julius Kelp's, uh, what is this? Laboratory. I thought I would do a live and share what I'm thinking about all of this with each of you. So if you have any comments, would like to say anything, please hop into the live and do so. I'm wondering where I am, what's going on, what's going on with the nutty professor? Really, I don't know anything and I'm trying to figure that out. Yes, hello, Mr. Big Est Matt. How are you? Good to see you. Just trying to get this camera a little closer. There we go. I don't know if you'll be able to see much of the laboratory while I'm here speaking with each of you. Today, I am Dr. Warfield, Dean of Corwin College. So, what are you cooking? You know, let him cook is what I say, but I don't know if I should say that to Mr. Julius T. Kelp. He is indeed a nutty, nutty professor. But, what was your name? Chris the Lord Zero, thank you very much for your question. I'm not sure what we're cooking, but we are indeed cooking something. <laughs> professor, adjunct professor Julius T. Kel or assistant, excuse me, assistant professor Julius T. Kelp definitely has some explaining to do as to what he is cooking in this laboratory. Being the Dean of Corwin College, I of course, you know, allocated money to the science program, but I was unsure that he was going to be cooking anything. Yes. Han Solo just joined. Greetings, Mr. Solo. Is it Han or is it Han? I don't know. So you tell me and I'll, I'll pronounce it from there. Jeepers Creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Jeepers Creepers, where'd you get those eyes? Yes. Of course, hello everyone, thank you for joining the live. I'm here at the Nutty Professor, a new musical. My name is Dr. Warfield. I'm Dean of Corwin College, where the assistant professor, Julius T. Kelp, is indeed cooking something in his laboratory. I don't know what it is. So yes, if anyone has any questions or would like to say anything, now is the time. Can you wish my brother Dixon Mays? It's his 18th birthday. Greetings, Dixon Mays. I am Dr. Warfield, and I would like to say a very happy birthday to you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Yes, Dixon Mays. Happy 18th birthday from Dr. Warfield, Dean of Corwin College. So yes, anyone else have any other requests or anything they would like to say? Uh, I am willing and able to say hello or to speak if needs be. Uh, being a dean of a college is quite a prestigious job. What's up, Doc? Hello, Mr. Jimmy Ribbit. I'm glad that you are not here in the laboratory, that you are indeed safe and not being dissected. That is a good thing. Thank you very much. Hello, sir. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Yes, Dr. Warfield, Dean of Corwin College for Nutty Professor the Musical. Um, I do indeed sing. Actually, back in my college days, I was a... Lyric baritone. Hmm. My Jimmy Ribbit, yes, I'm glad you're not in the laboratory being dissected. Hopefully none of your kin are either. Um, I see that Miss Danielle Bendinelli is here. Miss Danielle, it is good to see your face. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for jumping in. That is indeed a stylish mustache. Thank you very much. It is the style at the time. Uh, so I am wearing a very stylish mustache for the 1960s. And yes, thank you very much, Jimmy Ribbit, for the compliment. Can you grow a very stylish mustache, Mr. Jimmy Ribbit? I'm glad that I'm not on the lab tray. I indeed am also grateful that you are not here in the lab. That would be unfortunate if you were on the lab, Mr. Jimmy Ribbit. So, uh, like I said, hopefully none of you nor your kin end up in this laboratory for Nutty Professor the Musical. Um, hello, Ozma. So good to see you there. 
can I? I can grow one, but it requires sticky tape. Ah, yes. The advancement of sticky tape is indeed a wonderful boon to those who need the help with amazing facial hair. This is just cool. Thank you, Miss, uh, excuse me. Thank you, Ozma. Um, I apologize for my slip up there. That was a mistake and I regret it. So I apologize and thank you, Ozma, for saying that this is cool. I indeed think I am hip with the, the cool kids here in the 1960s. Yes, indeed. Again, Dr. Warfield here, Dean of Corwin College. I'm here on the set of the Nutty Professor musical at Hale Center Theater and showing off a little bit of our amazing science wing. This is the lab of Professor Julius T. Kelp. Are we on a break? Uh, the musing today is the uh, media call this morning and I, Dr. Warfield, have already done my part of the media call. So I am no longer needed and I am here instead doing a live in Mr. Julius T. Kelp's laboratory here at Corwin College. But been using it is always good to see you. Keep up the good work on your humorous videos. I think you'll go far. Matching pocket square, exuding class in the class. Yes, I am. Dressed as a teacher, you will always feel classy. Thank you very much. I feel very classy. I'm excited to come see you soon. I hope you do come and see it bemusing. Uh, I am in the Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday cast. Uh, that goes for anyone. If you would like to see me performing live, I am in the Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday cast of The Nutty Professor, a new musical at Hale Center Theater in Sandy, Utah. So yes, I would like to see you bemusing and anyone else who would like to come and see the show. So, yes, um, I, I do dance in the show. I am very talented. Um, in my college days, I was a lyric baritone. And in high school, I actually played uh, Hamlet. So, very, very talented right here. This was, of course, before they said I couldn't cut it. And I turned to academia, which is where we are now, as I am Dean of Corwin College. Yes, unfortunately, I don't want to travel cargo, but I would love to see it. Mr. Jimmy Ribbit, I would love for you to come see it. If you find yourself in Utah, in the United States, for some reason, please let me know and I will personally get you a ticket to the show. But I understand that you live quite a ways away and traveling is difficult for frogs, so. I understand if you cannot make it, I do. But Jimmy Ribbit, I appreciate the thought that you might want to come and see The Nutty Professor, a musical. Uh, a thank you, Des, my artist friend, for sending me a heart me gift. That was amazing. If anyone else would like to do that right now on the TikTok, they are asking you to collect as many of the heart me gifts as you can, but Des, it is, as always, a pleasure to see you. I hope that your art is going well. Here at Corwin College, we do have an excellent arts program. Uh, we, you know, tailor our curriculum and encourage new ideas and new voices, and we love to reflect the diversity of our uh, uh, class and our, our, our student uh, uh, reflecting the diversity of, of our students. Yes, I don't remember what that line was. I will have to check it before we start the run. Uh, yes, thank you, Des. You are also great. I am Dr. Warfield, Dean of Corwin College, which is the setting for The Nutty Professor, a new musical, which is taking place here at Hale Center Theater Ute. Ah, what, oh, and now I'm getting corn. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. I got 10 corn, so I need to do that 10 times. One, nom, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. I ate uh, ten corn on the cobs just now. Thank you to Des, who sent me those corn on the cobs. As a uh, man of academia, I do appreciate free food. We do not pay our teachers enough, and free food is always appreciated. Of course, I am not a teacher any longer. I am the Dean of Corwin College. So yeah, thoughts on Professor Kelps, genius or potential lawsuit liability for the college. I will say this, assistant professor, I would like to make that very clear, assistant professor Julius T. Kelp is an embarrassment to Corwin College. His appearance, his bearing, his manner, none of it commands the attention of his students. And we may not be able to keep him on next semester, so. That is how I feel about Mr. Assistant Professor Julius T. Akelp. Thank you very much for asking, Mr. Ribbit. Mr. Ribbit, if you would ever like to enroll in the college, let me know and I can talk to Miss Lemon, who is the registrar, and she could help you uh, with a, a, attending Corwin College. I do forgive your typos, wink, wink. Don't even worry about it, you're a frog. I, I expect your little webbed fingers to have a problem with human design tech. So you are forgiven. Will you say happy birthday to my bro? I already said happy birthday to your bro, Dixon. So again, though, happy birthday, Dixon, for on your 18th birthday. Uh, you are now old enough to attend Corwin College. If you would like to enroll, uh, talk to your brother here and you can enroll at Corwin College, Mr. Dixon, um, who is now 18. Happy birthday. Of course, uh, I type fairly well for a three-digit amphibious life form. You know, I think you do, and that would definitely meet a quota for letting in a specialty student for a three-fingered amphibious life form. I think you might be uh, the only one of our student body who would be a three-fingered amphibious life form here at Corwin College. I'm sure the professor could cook up something to maybe help you grow more digits or to change your personality. I don't know, but your personality seems pretty great. Mr. Ribbit, so I don't know how much you would want to change or how many digits you would like to grow. Yes, um, Dr. Warfield here, Dean of Corwin College, which is the setting for The Nutty Professor, a new musical based on the classic, uh, uh, the classic Jerry Lewis movie from the 1960s. Uh, we would love for you to come and support this new musical. I believe this is only the second time this musical has ever been performed. Uh, we are very lucky to be doing this musical here at Hale Center Theater in Sandy, Utah, and would love anyone to come and enjoy it. Have a great show. Fracture a lower appendage, as they say. Thank you, Mr. Ribbit. We will all fracture our lower appendages, uh, one or both, of our lower appendages will be fractured during the performance, I believe, which is customary for the theater, theatrics, if you will. Hello, I changed my name to Mando. I was Lego Palps, remember me? Yes, Mr. Mando Lego Bricks, I do remember you. Uh, we had a conversation the last time that I was live, and I think that that was great. You can change your name to whatever you want. Whatever you would like to be called is what I will call you. Um, I try to be very professional. As Dean of Corwin College, I uh, definitely attempt to be professional. My lord, hello, Stormtrooper, how are you? Good to see you. Hello, ma'am, sir, how are you? Good to see you. Thank uh, you. Uh, were filtered to protect the community's experience. Oh my word, they're having to filter my comments. What are you people saying that is requiring them to filter the comments? 
That's what I want to know. We are a professional establishment here at Corwin College, and I do not appreciate uh, uh, the otherwise, so please, uh, as the young ones say, check yourself before you wreck yourself. No cap, bus and bus and sheesh. Hi, the cosplay verse. Oh, hello, my young apprentice, the cosplay verse. If you have not seen him, he does an amazing Darth Maul cosplay, which is quite impressive. And uh, I would highly recommend you check him out. I am very well, my young apprentice. As you can see, I am definitely in disguise today as Dr. Warfield, Dean of Corwin College, which is the location for The Nutty Professor, a new musical. I'm just here in Assistant Professor Julius T. Kelp's lab. We are having a, just a little discussion here on the live, and uh, but uh, Mr. Uh, the the cosplay verse. It's so good to see you, and I enjoy seeing your uh, videos and your cosplays. So please keep it up. I think that you are are the bee's knees, as they say. So yes, we're very glad that you are here. Uh, again, hello, greetings. I am Doctor. Warfield, Dean of Corwin College, the location for The Nutty Professor, a new musical here at Hell Center Theater. Uh, I'm just doing a little live today, taking any questions you may have about the musical or about Corwin College or even about assistant professor Julius T. Kelp, who is indeed the titular character for The Nutty Professor, a new musical. Um, there are not very many of you in the live, but I will just continue saying hello and talking for a while. We are about to get a lobby full of people here to see The Time Machine, also taking place right now here at Health Center Theater. That is in uh, the Jewel Box stage, as opposed to our Young Living Center stage. So cool, thank you very much. Uh, the cosplay verse. I appreciate your comments. Uh, you are a very kind individual and you should keep up the good work. So thank you. Uh, yes, uh, The Nutty Professor, a new musical, is based on the classic Jerry Lewis film from the 1960s. Um, and uh, I am Dean Dr. Warfield, who is, I am Dean of the college where this musical takes place. And yes, we are hip. We got the moves, as they say. So yes, don't worry your heads about any of that. Um, they did tell me once the, the crowd for the time machine starts to come that I should clear out so as not to interrupt the flow for the time machine. Um, I would like to point out that a friend, uh, uh, Standout Steel, has just entered the chat, and I would like to say Standout Steel, he has some wonderful takes on the Star Wars universe, especially a lot of the fandom menace, as you will, or toxic Star Wars fans within the, the, um, the fandom, and I appreciate his takes on many things. So, uh, the standout steel, sir, thank you for what you do. Uh, again, I am a Dr. Warfield, Dean of Corwin College, which is a location for The Nutty Professor, a new musical. Uh, uh, yep, thank you, standout steel, for the peace sign. I appreciate that. Um, your takes are always quite humorous, as well as dead on the nose. Let's see, someone, Rodimus, he says hello, and I will say hello, Rodimus. I guess you just said hi, which is um, less formal than hello. Uh, suit is sharp, made to fit or off the rack. Oh, this? It's just a, just a ready-made suit. 
but as Mr. Buddy Love tells me, that's the picture of it. I have the perfect physique, and whatever I wear just swings. So, thank you very much, Will Toll, for bringing that up. But yes, this is just a ready-made suit, but as Mr. Buddy Love tells me, I have the perfect physique. I appreciate the kind words, my guy. I love your stuff, too. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Standout Steel. I enjoy making funny videos about a galaxy that is far, far away. And um, I love the fandom, and I wish a lot of the negativity in the fandom would cease to be, and everyone could just enjoy what they enjoy about Star Wars and have fun, maybe poke a little fun at some of the, the funnier, uh, quirkier sides of Star Wars. So, yes, but I appreciate your kind words as well. Uh, that is a, a awesome thing for you to say. Also, uh, my friend, the Nerdy Flutist, has just entered. Uh, the Nerdy Flutist, of course, is uh, a flutist who is nerdy, uh, much like myself. Uh, not that I am a flutist, no, I am just a nerd. Uh, I am uh, a, a theater nerd for sure. And of course, just a, a Star Wars and sci-fi nerd in general. But the nerdy flutist, my friend who just entered, uh, she does beautiful music uh, within the nerd genre. She recently released an album uh, called like Flute Music uh, for the Final Frontier, uh, which I was able to jump on her Kickstarter for that. Uh, and it is flute music, of course, from Star Trek which I know is a little bit of a departure for me. Most of the time I'm talking about the, the wars in the stars or the star wars, as it were. Uh, but yes, um, I am Dean Dr. Warfield, uh, Dean of Corwin College, the setting for The Nutty Professor, a new musical at Hale Center Theater. In character say, that's the way it was and that's the that's the way it was, and uh, that is the way that the cookie crumbles. Um, that is the way it was, and that's the way the cookie crumbles. That's the way it was, and that's the way the cookie crumbles. So, uh, there you go. And that is the way it is, and that is the way that uh, the cookie crumbles. Will Toll. Thank you for giving me something to say. Sometimes I feel like I'm in here and I'm just talking and no one is listening. Right now, for example, I know there are eight of you who are here watching this live, uh, but uh, very few people are, are I mean, the, the few of you who are here are commenting, but they're, because there are so few of you, I just need to continue talking. And uh, sometimes I feel like I am uh, talking in a bubble. But I'm here in Assistant Professor Julius T. Kelp's laboratory, uh, part of The Nutty Professor, a new musical. It's a good time. I know that you are uh, listening, Ozma. Change and square to black and remove the glasses. Boom. Your Gomez, right? When you're an Adams, you gotta have a sense of humor. I really am, right? That's very Gomez Adams almost. Ah, oh, Tish. I like, I would love to play Gomez Adams. Uh, that's actually nutty. Uh, the Adams Family will be a show here at Hell Center Theater, uh, it will be in the Jewel Box Theater, I believe, once um, once the time machine closes. Uh, someone just followed me. Get uh, get H D E T H six 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 just followed me. So thank you. Have to go. Have a blast. Thank you so much, Mr. Will Toll. I appreciate that. I just need to check the time here. See if I have any any calls. I told them if they needed me to call me, uh, but so far, nothing. They did say that I was wrapped for the media loot suit we had today. 
uh, Sith Emperor Adam. What happened to our Emperor uh, right now? The Emperor isn't here. He is uh, working in a galaxy far, far away, but I am here. I am Dr. Warfield. I'm Dean of Corwin College, which is the setting for The Nutty Professor, a new musical, which will be taking place at Hale Center Theater in Sandy, Utah. Today is our final rehearsal for, uh, for this show before we open on July 1st. Um, if anyone happens to be in Utah between July 1st and August 17th, uh, you should definitely uh, come by and see the show. I, uh, BJ Wimpy, play Dr. Warfield in the Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday cast. And so, yeah, please come down. Oh, very cool. I like the look. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Sith Emperor Adam. Uh, that is very kind of you to say. I do feel like I look rather dapper as well. Um, but yes, don't worry. The Emperor will return somehow. He always does. So uh, I, on my page, I post Emperor videos every other day. So I'm sure sometimes multiples a day, especially when I'm doing the on this day post. So you can definitely go and get more of your beloved Emperor Sheev Palpatine um, uh, whenever you would like on my page. Uh, but apparently you yourself are as well an emperor. So uh, that is great. Um, again, just here in the laboratory, uh, Julius T. Kelp is, is cooking up something. He says he has a formula that has drastic change and will help those with uh, psychological and emotional disorders. Uh, so hopefully that is true and Corwin College uh, will benefit from so many of those advancements but honestly, he's cost the college so much, I may not be able to keep him on next semester. His appearance, his bearing, his manner, none of it commands the attention of our students. So, um, yes, yes. That is how that goes. Um, invite... Will told to join my live? Uh, no, thank you, not right now. I'm just going to do a live on my own. I actually, I believe, will need to wrap up this live fairly shortly because I believe the crowd for the time machine will be entering soon. Um, I should give you a little tour of this lab, I suppose. Mr. Wimpy, Slay, Sophia, Slay, thank you. No cap, bussin' bussin', sheesh. I got that skibbity riz, yo. No. <laughs> thank you, Sophia, uh, for making me feel young again in my heart um, and in my vernacular. I appreciate that. And I apologize, Danielle, if I just embarrassed you in front of the others. But you're just going to have to deal with that because that's who I am. No cap. Bussin' bussin'. I got that Sigma Riz, if you know what I mean. Um, it does appear, hello miss, how are you? How are you? Good to see you today. Good to see you. I hope you enjoy your show. Thank you. You're going to go see Time Machine, That's I feel? Good. That's cool. Good, good. I'm awesome. here. Thank you. This is for Nutty Professor, which will be in the, the main this stage. Is cool. It's very cool. I agree. Love Thank you. you. You have a great day, miss. And so I guess that might be my cue. There's a lot of people starting to come in. Um, uh, so I should probably get ready to bid you adieu 
uh, in a good time because I, I feel that soon there will be multiple people here. But again, I am Dr. Warfield, Dean of Corwin College here, uh, which is the location for The Nutty Professor Musical. I'm here in the lab of Assistant Professor Julius T. Kelp. Um, Mr. Buddy Love was here earlier and he uh, said that um, I have the perfect physique and anything I put on just swings. So yes, uh, I encourage everyone to come and see uh, The Nutty Professor, a new musical here at Hale Center Theater in Sandy, Utah, if you at all get the chance. Uh, before I go, is there any questions, comments, or concerns? Uh, yeah, someone could say I looked like Gomez Adams if I switched this to black and removed the glasses, and that made me very happy. Uh, I would love to play Gomez Adams sometime. Unfortunately, uh, I will not be playing Gomez in a future production here at Hell Center Theater of The Addams Family. I will not be in that show because I will be uh, in Beauty and the Beast, which is about the same time. They're going to overlap each other a little bit. So, yes. Uh, Jessica Gallard just joined. Toby just joined. Where is the Emperor? The Emperor is not here today. He is in a galaxy far, far away. I'm sure doing great things as leader of the Empire, uh, the ever-expanding Empire, I might add, as well as a Dark Lord of the Sith. But I am Dr. Warfield, Dean of Corwin College, which is where The Nutty Professor, a new musical, is set. We're here in Julius T. Kelp's laboratory, just doing a little live for a bit uh, before we have our final rehearsal for The Nutty Professor, a new musical. Uh, it's going very well. Um, today we have an invited audience and, and yeah, say hi to Maggie and Ellie. They said you slayed. Well, Maggie and Ellie, you ate that, sister. Thank you for saying that I slayed, because I agree that I slayed, and you as well slayed. So keep it up, girlfriends. Yeah, I appreciate that, uh, Sophia, Maggie, and Ellie. Slay, girl. Make it work. All that stuff. How do you how do you like my my suit? It's just a just a ready-made suit. But Mr. Buddy Love says that I have the perfect physique and anything I wear just swings. So that's pretty cool. Yes, eating that up. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. I, I am eating that up. Or should it be, yas? Eating that up. <laughs> um, but um, I believe it is probably time for me to wrap up because there are people beginning to come here for Time Machine, which is a play taking place here. Uh, but here, let me move this back. Maybe you can all see the Nutty Professor sign. Uh, there we go, the Nutty Professor. So, before we end, I would just like to say thank you all for being here for this live. Um, please come see The Nutty Professor, a new musical here at Hell Center Theater in Sandy, Utah. Uh, I am Dr. Warfield, the Dean of Corwin College, which is the setting for The Nutty Professor. Uh, thank you very much for being here, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Um, now, how do I end this? I know it's here somewhere if I just is this the button I think so <laughs>